Right, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our story time. Thank you for joining us. Um, please bear with us, this is our first time doing it, so we're going to just play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Diane Morris. I am a member of Wesley Baptist Church. Um, I also come to Little Step sometimes, um, although not a lot. Um, I'm sister to Danielle Monk, who's running it. Um, and I have two little boys, uh, Ruben, who's three, and Neo, who's one. And today we have Erin joining us. Hello, Erin. Um, Hi. Would just like to tell us a little bit about who you are? Okay, so my name's Erin. Um, I'm also a member at Wesley Baptist Church. Um, I help out with some of the children's ministry work, and I'm a marketing tutor. Brilliant. That's fantastic. And that's why you're joining um, me today, aren't you? Because you're going to help me sign along um, as we go through some songs and stories. Um, so I thought it'd be nice if we opened with a bit of a gratitude exercise, because um, I think being a mum, it's quite easy to start moaning about all the things that are going wrong and the biggest frustrations. And I've tried to make a point of um, being grateful um, so I think today I'm going to choose that I've been really grateful to have some strawberries. They were really sweet and um, they're just mm, everything you want from a strawberry. So Erin, what are you grateful for today? I am grateful for meeting some of my neighbours that I've never met before and having a chance to have a chat with them. Nice. nice. Right, so we're going to open with our hello song. So if we say hello, hello, we say hello. Hello, we say hello. Hello, we say hello. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Okay, and I thought we'd then go into Dingle Dangle Scarecrow. It's one I've had to relearn, so bear with me if I'm looking at the words. <clears throat> so, when all the cows were sleeping and the sun had gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a blippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this and I shake my feet like that. When all the hens were roosting and the moon behind the cloud, up jumped the scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a blippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this, I can shake my feet like that. When the dogs were in the kennels and the doves were in the loft, up jumped the scarecrow and whispered very soft. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Good job, everyone. And then we're going to do one finger, one thumb. Now, this one always challenges me, so forgive me if I get a bit confused. Um, one finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, keep moving. We'll all be merry and bright. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, keep moving. We'll all be merry and bright. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, one stretch of the arm, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, one stretch of the arm, keep moving. One finger, one thumb, one nod to the head, one stretch of the arm, keep moving. We'll all be merry and bright. Fabulous. Good job. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so today's story is all about colours and it is Wow, said the owl. Um, and I believe it's written by, I did have this all out, um, Tim Hopgood. Tim Hopgood. So, Wow, said the owl. So, at night, when we are feeling tired and ready for bed, owls are just waking up. Owls live in a nighttime world. They have eyes that can see in the dark. But this little owl was a curious owl. And instead of staying awake all night, as little owls are supposed to do, she took a long nap and woke up just before dawn. Wow, said the owl. She couldn't believe her eyes. The sky was a warm and wonderful pink. Wow, said the owl, as the yellow sun shone through the morning mist. Wow, said the owl, as white fluffy clouds floated across the bright blue sky. Wow, said the owl, as she saw that the leaves on her tree were green. Wow, said the owl, as the pretty red butterflies flew by. She watched them land on the bright orange flowers that opened up in the warm sunshine. Up in the sky, the clouds turned gray and it started to rain, but the sun was still shining. Wow, said the owl, as a beautiful rainbow filled the sky with colour. The little owl sat happily in her tree and watched as the sun went down and the moon came up. The daytime is full of beautiful colours, she thought. But wow! said the owl. The nighttime stars are the most beautiful of all. Too excited to sleep, the little owl stayed awake all night long, just like little owls are supposed to do. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. I quite like that one. It's a nice little one. Okay, so I thought we'd do some more singing um, and then we've got another little story. <laughs> So we'll do three little speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, grub, grub. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Two green speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, grub, grub. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, grub, grub. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more speckled frogs. Okay, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Time to get a bit active. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
Oh, it was good to be up on my feet. Yeah, I do, I'm a little teapot. <clears throat> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I see the teacups, hear me shout. Sit me up and pull me out. Good job, everyone. This is fun. <laughs> time for the next story and um, this is one that I'm trying to read to my boys on a regular basis and it's God Knows All About Me. Um, it is written by Claire Page and is illustrated by Claire Fennell. So from my head to my toes, from my knees to my nose, God knows all about me. When I'm good and when I'm bad, when I'm happy and when I'm sad, God knows all about me. In the middle of the night, in the early morning light, God knows all about me. When I jump up and down, when I'm spinning round and round, God knows all all about me. From my bottom to my belly. When I'm sweet and when I'm smelly, God knows all about me. When I whisper and when I shout, when I let my feelings out, God knows all about me. When it rains, and when it snows, when I've got a runny nose, God knows all about me. When I run and when I skip, when I stumble and I trip, God knows all about me. From the beginning to the end, God will always be my friend. God knows all about me. Okay, so we're going to sing some more songs now um, and then we'll finish up. So here we go with Incy Wincy Spider. The Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and wash a spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed the spout again. Brilliant. So this one's a good numbers one. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I let it go again. Why did you let it so? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Oh, that cheeky fish. And then we'll do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. This is a nice little one. So, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Lovely. Okay, thank you very much for joining us today. And um, for all of you mums, dads, grandparents, carers out there of any little ones, I'd just like to really encourage you um, and say that even on your worst day, you are still the best person for your little one who's still there watching you even if they're driving you insane they still love you they still care about you it doesn't matter so keep going you're doing a fabulous job and you are more than enough for them so we'll just finish with our goodbye song and then we'll say goodbye so we say goodbye goodbye we say goodbye goodbye we say goodbye goodbye we say goodbye 
Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you have a good weekend. Bye.